Today's video is going to talk about Instagram search ads, and it's not going to be as specific as you think. While yes, we can focus on a little bit deeper intent with the Instagram placement, there isn't a feature to actually target keywords. So in this video, I want to show you what Instagram search ads will look like as a user is discovering them. Then we'll go over the requirements needed to start beginning Instagram search ads. And then we will go over an actual campaign setup to show you what settings you may need to change to try to make it as specific as possible to really get into that user intent. The first thing I want to show you is how Instagram search ads could work. And I'm just going to go over one example because I'm pretty sure you'll get it. So in this Instagram account, I clicked on the search feature at the bottom, the magnifying glass. And in the search bar up top, I just typed in makeup. Not for me. I just know it's a very popular industry on Instagram. All the images we see on the screen right now are not ads. They are organic posts. However, if we keep scrolling down there, we see a sponsored post. And there the call to action was highlighted. So if a user sees this, I'm going to click on the ad. Sorry to this brand. It expands the post or the ad so I can fully see it. I can expand the description like I just did. If I click on the call to action there, I am sent to the website, but notice I am still in the Instagram app and then I can go on with my shopping experience and potentially purchase the product. So again, it all stays on the Instagram app, but it's just another placement for you to try to expand your reach. If you're finding success with Instagram placements, then maybe you want to focus in on a little bit deeper intent with search on the platform. So next, I want to show you a few requirements needed in order to be able to use Instagram search ads. Okay, I'm going to make this part pretty quick because there are really just two main requirements needed in order to set up an Instagram search ad campaign. The first is that you must use a professional Instagram account. You cannot use a personal account. So we run into a lot of accounts where someone has set up their quote unquote company account with just their personal account. There is a way to switch a personal account to a professional account. Here's the link on the screen right now of where you can do it, but you must have that completed before you can set up Instagram search ads. And then next, your professional Instagram account must be connected to Meta Ads Manager. So let me show you how to connect your Instagram account to Ads Manager. For this video, I just want to show you what I think is the easiest way to get your professional Instagram account connected with Ads Manager. I'm in the main campaign view, but go to your business settings, which is this gear icon. They're defaulting us to people, but under accounts, click on Instagram account. Assuming it's not already here, you can search for an Instagram account, select it. If you need to update any settings, you'll have to log in, choose the people, add any partners, connect your assets, but then it will be tied to your ads manager. But now let's go through the Instagram search ad campaign setup. I'm back on the campaign view. Let's go ahead and click create. Then we'll have to choose our campaign objective. Instagram says that you can choose any objective that supports Instagram as an ad placement. So I'll just choose traffic for now to make things simple because our account does not have a shopping feed. So let's just continue. In this case, I do want to stick with a manual setup. You'll see why later on. So let's just click continue. Go ahead, name your campaign, choose any special ad categories if it applies. If you want to switch to campaign level budget, that's where you do it. But I'm going to go next to the ad set. Go ahead, name your ad set. Confirm your conversion location, choose your goal. It's going to be different for every account. Go ahead, choose your budget, your ad schedule. And then with Instagram search ads, we still get the ability to use all of the available meta targeting options that are available within the platform. If I just edit, I'm not going to go through everything. There are too many targeting options within Facebook. If you want to go over the targeting options within Facebook, Michelle just released this video a couple months ago. So check this one out, but whichever one you choose, scrolling down to placements, the default option will be advantage plus, but we will want to switch this to manual placements. And here's also where I want to clarify a few things. As I said earlier, as we saw in the example, search ads will appear when the user is on the Instagram app. So if you're trying to run just an Instagram search campaign, I would uncheck these three platforms and only run on Instagram. Then if I scroll down, we see the option for search results. So then you would want to uncheck all of these other options. No in-stream ads, no stories or reels. And I did this on purpose because if you want to show within the search section of Instagram, we do have to select the Instagram feed. So there really is no true way to get just the Instagram search feed, but that's okay. Depending on how specific you are with your targeting, going after just the Instagram search result placement might be too low volume. 
but since we are targeting the Instagram feed, we're well aware that the feed will also apply to desktop searches as well. And if Instagram search ads are only on the app, you probably will consider going to your devices and then choosing mobile only. This will help you a little bit, but of course, as I did that, it totally reset everything. So let me uncheck all this stuff again, select everything from feeds, and then uncheck it, and then I'll select Instagram feed again. Oh, of course, it did everything. No stories, no reels, and just Instagram search results. But if everything looks good, you can click next, and then you'd walk through the rest of the ad setup, make sure that you have the proper Facebook page connected, make sure your professional Instagram account is connected. Go ahead, finish your ads, create a lot of variants to test, make sure all your tracking is good, and then publish your campaign. And then after the campaign is launched, if you wanna review the performance of the search placement, you can head on over to this symbol. And your account still might be called Breakdown. I zoomed in a little bit. We use it a lot when reviewing performance, but you can just search placement, click the option for the breakdown. Here I'm in the campaign view. The campaign is broken down by the channel, the placement and the platform, but there we see Instagram search results. Still brand new, barely running yet. We need a lot more time. Volume may be lower depending on your industry. If you're an industrial manufacturing company, do you really expect people to be looking for your products or services on Instagram? Maybe not compared to the makeup example I gave earlier. So if you're in an industry where Instagram is still very popular, very high traffic, you're gonna see better results with the search results campaign than most other industries. But now you know what Instagram search ads could look like, what is required, and how the setup works within the Meta Ads Manager. If you have any other questions on this particular campaign type, please let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the super thanks button.